I know that the press doesn't tell the truth all the time. In fact, most of the times they lie. Why? Because they lied about me too. Hello my family, welcome again to Direct TV, bringing you the truth. Welcome guys to this special episode of my video today. Alright, in today's video guys, I'm here with a man of God, my person of the highly esteemed Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakleme, and also the wise man Daniel, one of um, Prophet TB Joshua's, um, you know, a disciple or let me say follower he's a wise man all right so today i came across a video from the man of god reverend dr chris Oyakleme in one of his healing streams all right uh, pastor chris actually gave a story of how he was actually you know uh, the press the media press and he's going to make emphasis on the fact that all these media press people all right most they always lie at all times all right so this is a, a very good example from the man of god reverend dr chris that most of this including this bbc that is um, spreading this document Documentary, they always lie all right i'd like you to listen to the video because you're going to learn something all right that these people is not today they started lying it's not today all right and then after that um you're going to watch the man of god um wise man daniel as he's going to give some prophecy and i'll, I'll emphasize on that but before we dive into the video don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe watch this why should we allow men who can tell lies at home tell lies to their friends why should we allow them to control the whole world with their own information? It's unacceptable. I, as an individual, I know that the press doesn't tell the truth all the time. In fact, most of the times they lie. Why? Because they lied about me too. Yes. You see, you can know yourself more than anybody else. So when they told things about me that I knew were not true, I now knew that, ah, oh, these people tell lies because I could prove it by myself. That they lied. If they never lied about me, maybe I wouldn't be sure whether or not they tell lies. But I can tell you, they tell a lot of lies. A lot of lies. Some years ago, one recognized newspaper in South Africa published something they said that I gave money to somebody and planned with him and told him that he should stand up from the wheelchair so I bribed him I bribed him with money you know I didn't reply you since then I knew that the day, you know, I, I, was, I was so cross about it then. I thought of taking them to court. But the Spirit of God said, no, don't do that. I knew that one day, I will have a mouth that is bigger than theirs. Those who stood up from the wheelchairs in their homes, did I give them money? You saw some. Did I give them money? From their homes. In different countries in china you saw some yesterday today again on friday all over the world those who have been healed of cancer how much did i give all these people all over the world you should be ashamed of lying i'm telling you this you see um I remember once I was preaching years ago. So I had a, I had a, a backpack, a transmitter, uh, a microphone transmitter. So I had it on my, on my belt. I didn't wear a jacket. I didn't wear a jacket. So you could see it as I preached. Now those days, I was just one of very few preachers that used the wireless microphone uh, in preaching on television so when I was speaking and mentioning names and cases of people and what they were suffering from and people were being healed the next day a newspaper a, a responsible respected newspaper published how that i was wearing they called it a pager 
they said i was wearing a pager now some of you wouldn't know what a pager is it's, it's one of those communication uh, gadgets of years ago so they said with that pager someone was giving me information on what the sick people were sick of so they said that they said if you look closely at pastor chris you would see then they described what i was wearing and they said that thing is where they give him information and i read this thing how stupid could they have been that thing was not receiving information it was transmitting information from my microphone the opposite was true they lied all right my family there you have it with the man of god by person of the highly esteemed reverend dr chris we actually made dsc dsc dd now guys you can see from the explanation that the man of god pastor chris has given that this media people is not today they started lying all right they started lying for a long time so it's not today it's not today thing you can imagine the lie they made about the man of god reverend dr chris and the fact that he was using those things to be getting information about this is the same now look at it this is the same story that they are giving concerning the man of god prophet tb joshua you can imagine in the documentary one of the alleged victims actually spoke that um the miracles were fake that somebody was giving um the man of god prophet tb joshua information from inside you can imagine that so these people they didn't start lying today they didn't start lying today all right guys so i also want you to watch um a video uh, actually this prophecy came uh, from wise man daniel during um the new year eve getting to you know 2024 so he gave a prophecy concerning what will happen to many ministers of the gospel all right in this 2024 and if you are a wise minister of the gospel if you listen to this you have to keep quiet all right in attacking men of god you need to keep quiet guys so before we dive don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe watch this this prophecy is for ministers of God all over the world. This prophecy, number two, is for ministers of God all over the world. Many ministers of God will be attacked in three different ways this year, 2024. Everywhere is quiet. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Let me start from the beginning again. Many ministers of God will be attacked in three different ways this year, 2024, because of their offensive utterances and approaches to the things of the spirit which god is not happy about these attacks will come in form of one terminal diseases two physical attacks from plots and ambush three spiritual attacks if you are a minister of god including myself what does not concern me what does not concern you because all eyes are on you i'm not saying one that i know hey this this how hey god showed me but if i mention name now it's under problem so that's it but you see it because the calling of god in your life is to preach the gospel anything outside that gospel salvation don't dare it don't even double it as a man of God because you end up provoking the devil tempting the devil and thereby provoking God to withdraw his strength and leave you to your own might and power and when it comes to the battlefield might and power cannot hold you cannot protect you you need spiritual to stand them and you are the spiritual and not going physical there's a problem take note take note take note God's grace will no longer speak for them because they have assumed God's position to judge and condemn those whom God has not condemned or judged. Also because they have abandoned the primary reasons why they were anointed and now pursuing material things of this world which has given Satan the opportunity to come into their spiritual life to cause harm. The, the fire, that's what we call grace. That grace is like Holy Ghost fire surrounding you as a minister of God. The more you go into what does not concern you, the more the fire, the fire reduces. The more you go into what does not concern you, the more the fire reduces. The more you take God's position, the more the fire reduces. And when the fire reduces, no shield. The enemy can now... <laughs> but those, that fire is supposed to protect you. If you have eyes to see, where you're, the level of a fire, you will stop talking anyhow. 
Uh -huh. But because even the spiritual eyes is blind, that you can talk anyhow. You leave what God gave you to do. You are entering another matter. That matter will consume you. All right, my family, there you have it with the man of God by a person of um, um, wise man Daniel. As he speaks, that prophecy was so profound. And I want to just list out some certain things that he said in that prophecy. If you are a minister of the gospel, in fact, I would, I would like to relate this to even Christians. All right. What does not concern you, keep quiet. Anything that passes you preaching the gospel, you should also keep quiet about it. And then he went further to also talk about the fact that many ministers of the gospel because they are they want to you know um you know they want to be popular and all those things you see they will now start involving themselves in the things they are not supposed to involve themselves talking against certain things that they are not supposed to and by that the fire of god is gradually leaving them so this is something that many christians need to realize this year all right so with the ongoing um you know documentary issue a lot of christians want to jump up and down see if you are wise enough i would, I would like to tell you no matter what see if you if actually you don't believe that oh the documentary is is, is false okay keep quiet don't go ahead in attacking any man, man of god just keep quiet if you know just keep your opinion to yourself if you think that you want to attack don't don't say anything but if you believe that oh the man of god tb joshua is, is actually true you can say something good about him but if you know that you want to say something bad about any other man of god even um, prophet tb joshua it's better to just keep quiet because you don't like what will happen to you all right thank you so much guys for watching today's video if this is your first time my channel can hit the subscribe button subscribe if you have not liked the video please hit the like button like today's video guys see you in my next video bye